I already did the unboxing, uh, but here we go. We're going to do the webcam, the 1080p drive free webcam. Oh, yeah. That's what you get. HD web camera, what do you want to bet? Okay, well, now I'm recording at 60 frames per second. Oh, I should bring in its audio and OBS too. Huh. Something. All right, um, I've put it on top of the monitor. So, quite a viewing angle there. First time I really saw my hair, I guess. All right. And now let's go ahead and bump the resolution. See, we have a photo. See, it's cranked it up. Remember, the, the box said 1080p, 30 frames per second, built in mic, H264, and a 90 degree viewing angle. I totally believe that it's got the 90 degree viewing angle. All right, uh, close, and we'll just kind of fill up the screen here. I need this camera here. Fidgeting with the cameras, it's my favorite thing to do. That while wireless comes on when the camera, the lens is activated. The, uh, I love how we have the little lens cap, right? And I'm not going to stick it on right now. We have a little lens cap and you would do this kind of thing, flip it, right? But, uh, I mean, sure. That does, it's good to have a physical, it's good to have physical privacy. However, the microphones, what does that do for the microphones? It doesn't do anything. You need a physical switch in order to avoid getting hot mic'd. So do not let yourself get into a false sense of security. Understand the attack vectors. Uh, the, see, the, the, the camera works. Uh, I think that's really the point now, isn't it? Now for a more interesting, something a little bit more interesting. Okay, LSUSB. And you can see I've got ARC International Camera. I bet that's it. Let's make sure first that we know which device it is. Nice trick is to use watch. If we man watch, we can see the differences and we can also change the interval. So let's do that. And um, watch dash N. We're going to do every 10 seconds and dash D. Then we're going to type in L S U S B. All right. So as you can see, we've got the date up there at the top and we're going to refresh every 10 seconds. So I'm going to wait for that to turn over and then I'm going to plug back in my USB. Turned over. We're going to plug this in. Wait for it to turn over. It is indeed, I believe, the ARC International Camera. Let's see if that's the only one. Okay. Another useful thing. I have it unplugged. We're going to ls usb pipe that to word count minus l for line count there's 12 12 lines there i'm going to plug it back in there it 
13. All right, so that camera. Da 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 da. Nope, you were right. I was right. It is the camera. Okay, so it's that arc. It's this uh, arc international camera. So let's take this. Ls USB dash V and pipe to less and we're going to look for the arc I'm just going to look for camera aha okay here we go well, it's a driver class miscellaneous device it's the U camera 001 now these oh, so it's 200 milliamp these um, these descriptors are going to come up here in a second. Okay, interface, video interface collection. It's a web camera. It's, uh, let's see, interface descriptor. So I'm going to guess that because we're looking for both the video and the audio. Mm -hmm -hmm. Clock frequency is 48 megahertz. So the good news is that it looks like it's only giving one USB device. However, so the reason why we're looking into these are, is that on the box, boop, on the box, you'll notice that it says drive free, right? No drivers required is I believe what that means. But we've got um, two USB standards, which normally go together, UVC and UVA. Okay, let's see, do we have anything more? There's some video standards. So, you notice that we have the width and the height here. We go up here, see if we can do 1280 by 960, 1920 by 1080, which if we go back to the Cheese app, got the web webcam plugged in, uh, and we go to preferences. We get to do, this is where these are enumerated, right? So. 1280 by 960, 1280 by 720. It's just, uh, you know, I, by the way, the when I did that, I don't know if you can see this, I'll make sure that you can. When you do this, the um, camera blinks, the little green light blinks. Whatever, let's keep going through these descriptors. I'm curious if we see the H264 and we want to see if we can see the uh, audio. Let's keep, keep. It's a 16-bit resolution. Miscellaneous Device Inter Interface Association. That's a dive into what it's reporting to the operating system in order to function. For our next step in the reverse engineering rabbit hole, we're going to disconnect it from the computer. I'm gonna rejigger the camera and we're gonna tear it down. Here we go. This is what we're doing. It's good enough for now. Well, we'll notice that there is some nice screws there. So let's get our screwdriver out. Trusty Radio Shack uh, driver. I guess we should get out the old old pocket knife here and just remove that QC sticker there. There. Keep that there. And just aha. Oh, so positive. Now 
one of the things I really like about these super generic, I'm gonna say Chinese, although it could be Taiwanese or anywhere really, but the thing that I like about these is that you have pretty much reference hardware. Like they're, they're just not gonna spend a whole lot of extra time on anything that isn't gonna get the product out the door. And so as a result, you get a pretty vanilla product and a lot of times it's very much what you want. So we already have a little bit of the reveal there, but I'm trying to get this other screw out so I can, basically so I can get it back in. Uh, oh, okay, then I'll stow the other one with it so that we're consistent. Is there a little knot in here? No, I can just kind of feed this through. So those were not security screws, do dads. Okay, so there we go. Um, let me zoom in all the way. If I look at this, oh, it's upside down. Okay, so I guess we put this, so this tie, I'm gonna use my toothpick pointer. So we put this little zip tie here, likely so you can't yank the cable out. Um, and we have our CMOS sensor. There is the microphone. Oh, see, see, it looks like there's two microphones, but there's really just one. This is the other microphone port. So just one microphone port. And I see already the main processor or the, the, main, the main elements of the camera. We have two LEDs. This is the, this is the power LED. This one is the activated LED. I am gonna need to get a microscope just because my eyes aren't so great anymore. Let's get some images. Okay, here's what we have. In generic T31, so th they didn't mask this at all. Um, here's the USB cable. There's our USB interface. We have our CMOS camera, we have our microphone. Our microphone thankfully goes into a little, oops, microphone goes into a little port that we could definitely disconnect, which is a great idea. Let's just do that. I'm gonna take these other screws out while we're here. Hopefully I have enough time. Might have to cut this short as I have a meeting. My day begins in a little while. Mm, that one's a little small. It's not quite fitting. Okay, we got, wonder if it is actually a different size. Yeah, that one, in fact, I only needed to, yeah. So we've got the three screws that hold it, held it to the chassis and then we've actually got the camera sensor itself. I'm gonna try to not break it. There we go. Yep, it was just really in there. And of course you could also snip that. I just made this camera like 900 times more secure. What you can do is put a little switch in here and I don't understand why more manufacturers, if you're gonna go to the trouble, and I mean like I have a, a higher end um, anchor camera, not to mention on laptops, what, why we couldn't just put a switch there is beyond me. I understand that on a low-end camera, they may not want to deal with the parts. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the USB interface as well. We'll put that in later. This way we can get a really nice view. Uh, we'll take some pictures and get a really nice view of the board. But for the most part on this side, it looks like we just have the resistor, resistor arrays. I can't see very well, but um, you know, so you're gonna have your associated resistors and capacitors. The capacitors mainly for just like smoothing. Um, there looks to be just these two main chips Oh, it's not in focus. Well, fight a microscope. 
if I had a microscope, that would be cool. I am going to need to take the camera off the tripod and get a uh, better idea of these chips. Like this is probably a good stopping point. But wait, there's more to this rabbit hole.